What is up, Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan, and we are checking back in from the Universal Orlando Resort for yet another Jurassic Roller Coaster Project construction update. Hopefully, there's been a little bit of progress since our last visit. Let's go! So, one thing I did want to point out over here in CityWalk, well, we have Cinemark Presents Comeback Classics. $5 for adults, $3 for child. Showtime's Friday through Sunday, 1 p.m. to 8 p.m., but they play some of the classic movies right here for a good price, too. And over here where all the demo work is going on, well, I don't see anything new. Looks about the same. Stay up to date on all the latest goings on. Well, be sure to download the official Universal Orlando app. Hello, Islands of Adventure. Of course, we got to be here for the Jurassic Project. Let's get inside. Well, ticket booths are not too busy. Ones over here not being utilized. And then we have the turnstiles on the right and left open. So, no way to get through these at least. No way to get through the turnstiles or through temperature check, but it did take almost 10 minutes to get through security. So I don't know if that's a good sign or not. It looks like guests are returning to the parks. What better way to tell if it's getting a little bit busier than the wait indicator sign? And we see the park is open until 6. Hulk is 35 minutes, 40 minutes for Kong. Dr. Doom is 10 minutes. P-Flyer is 15 minutes. Same with Forbidden Journey. Poseidon's Fury, 65 minutes. Wow. On the next page, some of the smaller attractions though, 5 minutes. Hogwarts Express, five minutes. And then we have Jurassic Park River Adventure, 20 minutes. Popeye and Bluto is five minutes. Same with Dudley do rights So yes, just a little bit busier. Ah uh, yes, the Jurassic Roller Coaster Project looking beautiful with that top hat completed there. And we can see no new track placement on the layout, unfortunately, but several cranes are in the air near the front half of the ride. And they're working on that rock work structure. We do have the big crane here in the front area that will do more track placement, but they got to finish up some other things here in the waterfront area. Yep, all the way over here by the entrance to islands we can see that rock work structure rising up now. Also see the outside of the building looks like it's been painted. Good to see the big guy running, but unfortunately, we don't have any water effects on. Not sure if that's just because they're uh, not running them, or if there's a maintenance issue or something like that. But yep, the coaster itself is going with social distancing.
to see you guys. How's everything going? Good. Good, actually. It's good to be back in the parks, of course. Everything's good, yeah? Rides are good and everything. You guys uh, keep... Midway Mayhem, we cover basically all sorts of new and exciting stuff going on at theme parks. Okay. So that's what we do, and you keep them safe, so I'm all of you guys actually. So. A little bit of pool in the decision making in theme park world. I, I wish. I wish I had that kind of pool. How many followers do you have? Uh, right now we're at about almost 40,000, so. 40, yeah. Now, if everybody got together and said, we want a Captain America ride, I mean. I mean we could make it happen, maybe. That, yeah, maybe. We, maybe we could get it happening. <laughs> Yeah, thank you guys for your time. Take care. look at some of that new paint on the outside of the building. A lot of work is going on over here for the maintenance barn and station area as I-beams have been put in place left and right and now it's got a roof. closer view of where the track ends right there another support over there so yeah just waiting on those guys Popeye and Bluto showing a five minute wait. Last time we were here, well, I took a ride and avoided getting soaked. Not doing that again today. My chances of getting soaked, too high. But that doesn't mean we can't enjoy watching all the other people getting soaked on this attraction. One of my favorite things to do here at Islands of Adventure. And when we ship the olive is operating, well, you can soak the guests also. Get him! Yes! Me ship the olive still closed unfortunately because it would give some awesome views of that thing. Kong, and we can see here, yep, the wait time sign did not lie. 40 minutes. flyers and in the past we've had the chance to get some views from over here but unfortunately well I don't have a kid I'm not gonna be stealing a kid 
So no more views from over here unless somebody else is in the park that we know that has a kid. So yeah, no stealing of kids for this. And now we're over here by the Jurassic Park River Adventure and just look how tall that rockwork structure is going up. We can see tunnels now where the track is gonna be diving in and out of that. Just look at that mess of steel. Reminds me a lot of Volcano Bay construction. Here we can see some of the tarps up around the theming elements and that track that's covered up by a protective sheath. Paneling is going up over here on the outside of the station now. 
And of course we got the Midway Mayhem VIP suite looking awesome. No work over here on capping these piles, but I'd expect it somewhat soon. Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure, and unfortunately today we will not be riding because of, well, that, the storm, and we're on a little bit of a time crunch. The construction fish are here. Guys, that's going to do it for our video update here from the Universal Orlando Resort, more specifically Islands of Adventure for the Jurassic Roller Coaster Project. I'm happy to say crews are busy working on all of that structure for the rock work. Looking really good. New paint all around. Of course, that top hat looking delicious. Of course, we're going to have more updates from here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.